this weekend, we set up our tent on the shores of beautiful Beaver Lake, where we enjoyed stand-up paddleboarding and hosted our quarterly cleanup. Good afternoon, everybody. We're camping this weekend. Are you excited? Oh, having the time of my life. <laughs> it's a little hot right now, but it's well, supposed to cool off in a second. It's so. definitely nowhere near as hot as it was last weekend. That was crazy for June. Um, but we are at Beaver Lake and um, where we're camping, I'm not sure how many camp spots there are but I didn't even see it on the website, but you can actually reserve to camp here. I think it's $8 a night is what I saw. Yeah. Um, but this is the first camp spot and this is really nice. Like we came in from up there and then you have this whole little area here. And then a lake. Fire pit and then the lake is right there with like really easy access. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna start cooking. I'm making quesadillas tonight, but they're a little different. I'm going to uh, pan fry some potatoes hey, for right now, yes. I'm gonna pan fry some potatoes. Uh, they're sweet potatoes. I'll do black beans and I have some cheese. So hopefully that'll be good. Sounds good. I'm on a sweet potato kick right now, but um, I'm gonna get started. So dinner is ready, and we have another type of salsa to go with it. This is a Texas... Texas salsa. Looks good. And I got a close-up for you guys, but I kind of want to open this up. This is mine, right? Is this my plate? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Six one away, half a dozen the other. Look at that, guys. That looks really good. Is that not ridiculous? Look at that cheese. God, I love mm. cheese. I love food. I love food. I'm so ready to eat. Let's enjoy this. I usually do shots like this, but y'all gotta come in on this. <laughs> I love butternut squash. She makes a but butternut squash. not butternut squash. What is it? Sweet potato. Which well, same family. Same family. I love sweet potatoes too. And, oh, oh, let's see if I can set y'all up for dinner. Let y'all be in with the Odins. If y'all ever want anything that Kelly makes, this needs to be one of the first things that y'all ask for. If you want it, we'll put it in the description below or just message us and we'll send you a, a recipe uh, that you can print out, right? We can send something print out, right? I can just put it below in the description. Put it below in the description. Ha 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 ha. I haven't even tried the salsa yet. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's real good. Let me just try the salsa. That might be better than the last one. <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> You're in sales event. My gosh, that's good. So we're really full. It was the best meal I've had in a long time. I think we can't resist. We're going to have to get in this water. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, babe. You don't think so? <laughs> I'm not really hot. I'm jumping in. I mean, I will, but... <laughs> No, I'm good. <laughs> you done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've confirmed Melody hooked us up with a good spot. So this is an awesome spot. We've got several several rocks. This is all limestone and it creates shelves, which is very common in the Ozarks. But this last shelf is a drop. It's just, <laughs> I'm on my toes. And if I go just right here, I can't touch, touch it anymore. So it's just a drop. It's nice, but I can have a seat right here. Check that out. Come now sit with me, Kelly. Uh, not yet. Okay. 
All right, so I think we're gonna call it a night and I'm gonna try to dip my body in this water. It's cold, but it feels so good. So that when I get out, I can be nice and refreshed. Um, and we're gonna just go to bed, I guess, because it's kinda gonna get dark. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We just woke up and the water is really calm this morning and it's a little chilly. It feels really good, actually. But I'm going to get started cooking because today we have a big day. It's the cleanup. And for breakfast, I'm making the bacon, egg, and English muffin. So let's get started. <laughs> Man, this is nice. I mean, look at that. Just drops off right there. Come on back in. I can't see the ledge. Where is it? You just keep on coming. I can see your feet. I don't know how you can't see it. You're there. You're almost there. I see it. All right. Awesome. All right. You ready to go? Okay guys, we are at the area that we're starting the cleanup. We have set up here and we're right here by the water. But this is Melody. She's the one who owns Sup Outfitters. Um, her location is at the Big Clifty area, correct? Yes. And then this is Hogs Called Hollow. This is yes. where we're doing the cleanup at. Um, but tell us a little bit about your company and what you do. So uh, we offer eco tours and rentals and lessons and uh friday night sunset paddles wednesday happy hours Ooh, we also do fun. sup yoga Wait, yeah hold on. What's up with the happy so hours? I, <laughs> she yeah. said wednesday happy hour wednesday happy hour four to six <laughs> and every friday night we host a friday night sunset paddle so all of the guests in eureka springs can come on out that's from six to eight okay and then her location is about 20 minutes from eureka springs Yes, about 20 minutes from Eureka Springs. Uh, you do have to call for reservations because I'm a mobile business. And so I deliver a lot of SUP boards all over Beaver Lake and sometimes even on other lakes located in Arkansas. And sometimes on Saturdays, I'm hosting events mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> like cleanups. Yeah. So you can't find me at my site right now. So <laughs> I prefer that you book online and then I meet you by Water's Edge. Okay, and we will put all of her information uh, in the description below. And that way, if you want to come check it out, you're more than welcome. But we're waiting for everybody to show up so we can get this day started. Woo! See you in a bit. I mean, that's yeah. right down there that there's that much. So we had a major well, issue. Well, there's like a campfire. It looks like major, a major I'm issue. Like, oh, oh, if you remember Mark from last time, it's in my bro. Like, yeah, well, something's going <laughs> So he like, calls me and says, Cody, your pin's not right on your Facebook page. And I was like, no, my pin is right. And he goes, well, I'm on your pin and I don't see you. So we had to drive 20 minutes around to the other side of the lake. So if anybody showed up to this event and couldn't find us, we are so sorry. But we are here on the other side of the lake. Pretty drive though, right? It was a great drive. <laughs> a little I, dusty. But it's... I drove a little fast, <laughs> freaking out. But uh, yeah, so they, Kelly's been here. They've already picked up a whole bunch of trash. I picked it, oh yeah. So the, they picked this couple, just picked all this up right on that trail and I've got a bag here. We got a guy, so, or we got two guys out that came from Fayetteville yeah, on, a on a canoe. So they can get uh, trash on the shoreline. So, wow. Let's just say wow. So we're picking up trash, and last weekend we were out west, or weekend before last, and I didn't think I'd see a flowering cactus again, but check this out. Isn't that beautiful? Look at these things. That's just too cool.
So we have picked up a ton of trash in this area and I want to thank everybody that came out to help us um, try to make this a better place to enjoy because it is beautiful and um, I think we're going to go back to the SUP Outfitters and check out some paddle boarding. We are back at Sub Outfitters and this is their day use area. There's a couple of picnic tables set up here. And I believe this is where we're gonna put the paddle boards in. And the water is just so pretty today. So much fun. So much fun. You having fun? I'm having a problem. My life, look at me. I got the lounge here. I got water. I got sunshine. I'd buy that for a dollar. So we have a professional photographer over here. <laughs> yeah, he's got it going on. He's giving us some new pointers on some new cameras. And he has a YouTube channel as well. Is it just under your name, Mark? Yeah, we'll put that in the description below. He does interviews with people that have very interesting stories and then a lot of climbing content that's top notch. And we're gonna go, we're not gonna climb, but we're gonna go, okay, I might climb with him. <laughs> but we're gonna go and learn a little and then get some drone content one time and some, uh, I guess a, a, a rock climbing vlog. We need to do it. We need to do it, right Kelly? So we are done hanging out here for the day and I think we're actually gonna go into town in Eureka and get some food, maybe check out a brewery. We'll see what's open down there and uh, we're just gonna make an evening of it. We found a Eureka Springs brewery, never been here before, and we are going to check it out. There's some people here, so that's a good sign. Cool little outdoor patio. And this outdoor seating area is very nice. Yeah, it's so pretty out here. I really like it. If you get a chance, you should really come check it out. Uh, Eureka Brewery. So we parted ways with everybody at the brewery. Thank you everybody who showed up for the cleanup. We had a great turnout, but we are now at Sparky's about to eat. We need a little something to eat before we go back to camp. Yeah, so let's see what we have eaten here before and I had oh, a wow. white chili ghost. I don't even remember what I had last time. You had yeah. a ghost pepper. I had a ghost pepper, pepper burger. It was delicious. It was so good. So let's see what we get. Many of you might not realize but carrot cake is my favorite dessert in the world. And Kelly makes it for my birthday every year from scratch. I love carrot cake. Dinner was good. Kelly had a really hot burger. I had the ghost burger again and I had to get sour cream to help cool it off. I think it was a bad choice. It was a bad choice. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do very well tomorrow morning. So we're in the tent and we wanted to show you these cool lights. Well show yours on the big lights. Well, yeah. So we got these bad boys, it's a clear fan blades, little LED light, three settings. Uh, the lights, three settings, the fan is three settings, and they feel really good right now. They're a thousand times better than those other fans that we showed yeah, y'all. Yeah, uh, my old fans have like the D battery you'd put in it. This has a rechargeable battery, so you can plug it in in the car, at home, anywhere. And we got a problem. Amazon. Of course. We'll make sure to put the link for these fans below. We're really tired. It's about 9.30. It's been a long day. Mm-hmm. But we will see you in the morning.
morning everybody it is a nice cool morning again i just wish it would be this temperature at like seven o'clock in the afternoon don't you oh yeah <laughs> it feels so nice the mosquitoes are not bothering us we have to cook breakfast a little early this morning well we've been getting up kind of since our trip since we had to get up about five or six usually every morning We've been getting up. Kind of got used early. to it, really. And plus, when the sun comes up and you're sleeping outside, it pretty much wakes you up. Even though I have like some eye cover things, but I mean, I'm like, I think as long as I get eight hours, I'm good. Like, it doesn't really matter what time it is. Yeah. We've been going to bed at like nine or ten o'clock anyway, so. But we are supposed to be doing the paddleboard today over to a waterfall. So that should be pretty cool. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing the waterfall. I am too. Is it going to be running? I don't know, man. We'll find out. But we're going to be making French toast this morning. Mmm, breakfast of champions. We're going to go get all the paddle boards. We're going to paddle out there, check it out, and we'll bring you guys along with us. So we're out on the water. Melody's over there getting some people up on the boat. She's doing a great job with this. Remember, we're gonna put all the information so y'all can come and do this. And we're gonna see what we can see along this beautiful lake, right? Yeah, and this is my first time, uh, both of us first time up on a board. So, I'm gonna have to keep my abs tight the entire time. <laughs> crazy but I mean you get used to it and uh, I don't know I really like it what do you think I'm digging it I'd, I'd do it again I really had fun today we've still got to get back now yeah while we were paddling we met some really awesome people that uh, did the paddle with us and uh, the wife named our drone drone what was it Sally Sally, Sally. we love it so her name is now Sally Padrone. Love it. <laughs> but we decided we were going to come back to camp and hang out by the water. So I did find out that this is camp spot number one. Like I said uh, the other day, I will list the phone number in the description if you're interested in booking a campsite here. They only have four sites. So I'll do it earlier in the week as far ahead as you can.
We're gonna leave you guys here and we wanna say we had a great weekend. The cleanup went well, there's a lot of trash. Uh, stop paddle boarding was really fun. I'm glad we got to do that. Thank you, Melody. We want to thank Melody for setting up the campsite for us and letting us do the paddle board and for her help at the cleanup. So we'll just see them next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. Oh, and future uh, cleanups, find our Facebook events page. Yeah. So make sure yeah. you go there. We have another one planned for September. Yeah. That information will be posted shortly. Uh -huh. All right. Well, if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. But also, share this video if you like Please it with your share. friends, family, anybody you know. We really appreciate it. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.